set up his cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. Well done, Colonel. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily, I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there, in the city. She still has bad dreams. Though it's understandable given all she's been through. Sometimes she calls out your name. Sometimes she cries for her mother. Please, please leave a candle for me. I, it gets dark in here and I, I can't see my mother. I just want a candle. Where is Corvo? You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Mr. Sokolov has certainly recovered. A good night's sleep has left him with an appetite. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The assembly. I know it looks. I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers, shaped like Snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion.
I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so far. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress, the very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. A curious strategy. Of which I approve. I'll leave you. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendician spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? I could use a drink. King Street Brandy? I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate? Tonight? The timing is perfect. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I swear I never saw her face, although I can vouch that her hindquarters are the finest in the city, and perhaps the Empire itself. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. 
Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Good grief, the Lord Regent's pulling out all the stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours lets you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. The Boyles hope you have a wonderful time tonight. Careful. We tried for a peek upstairs and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. A party like this, anyone might have crept in. Excuse me, my cousin is a Marquis. Of course I don't need to. Ooh, scary mask. Evening, sir. Later we should meet for a smoke. Undoubtedly. You should see this as an opportunity. To what? Learn a trade, join the city. Hold on, I need a cigar. What most people don't remember. You, a gentleman? I'll have you know I'm... Welcome to my party. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Yes, I think I've proven. I told you not to bring that up. I'm doing all right, sir. I know your mission tonight. Welcome. You must yes. speak privately. friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight, and how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Esma. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar, and I will keep her safe with me. Forever. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Yes, of course. Cold night, sir. Please enjoy yourself. Inside.
not lost, sir. I can find everything inside. Oh, hello, handsome. Oh, really? Who am I then? In the flesh. Now, do you know what my sisters are wearing? You're serious, aren't you? I'm really in danger? Oh, but this is perfect. I love it. What happens next? Are you gonna tie me up? Oh, yes, of course I can. Anything. Don't be silly. The rumors say the Boyles practically own your estate. What if I said I could get you out of the city, away from all this? Something disturbing about that mask. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. He's the only one holding this together. He'll make us great again. Some of us will be great. The Boyles, at least. Now, now. Excuse me. No guests past this point. Beat it. You shouldn't be here. Welcome to the party. Enjoying yourself? Anything you need, sir. Hello, sir. Welcome to the party. Get her on board. At last. Oh, my love. Someday you will understand. You'll never know how happy you've made me. Someday she'll learn to appreciate me. After all, she'll have her whole life. found out what the whales could do when it made us an empire. This excuse me. Doing all right here? I hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly.
Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. The mask. You did it. And now we've done away with a woman and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. I've heard from Lord Shaw this morning. Which means my note was not delivered. This puts me in an awkward position. But then, you weren't the one who said his wife had the face of a plague rat. Thank you. I will try not to overburden you in future missions. You've had a long night, Corvo. But I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now, in Havelock's chambers above the bar. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The streets adjacent to Boyle Man remain off limits, pending an ongoing investigation. Pendleton's here someplace. The river's the only way out of here. Hello, love. Corvo, the time has come. Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable. And now everything's in place to strike at him. We're one step from the throne. One man, one beating heart, is all that's left of the forces that brought this city to the brink of ruin. It is simple, but it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers, the Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov, who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower, he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming, and everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare, then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterline. Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. to build something for you? I can make anything. Practically. Ready to face the Lord Regent? About time we took care of my say. Long past time. 